Hi Leo, this is your November 1st through November 7th weekly tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my weekly readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about work, business, finances, and we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, subscribe, and donate to support this channel. This first spread is on new love this week. We have the Two of Cups, we have the Devil, we have the Queen of Pentacles, and we have the High Priestess, clarified by the Six of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. And we have the Two of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking at the Queen of Pentacles. This is either an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. Or this person is somebody who is very grounded and very nurturing. And um, I'm getting this feeling that this person is kind of like a divine intervention, actually. Because with the Devil card, with the High Priestess, and with the Two of Wands, I feel like you're sitting in some kind of a limbo. Right now, you're not 100% sure what you need to do, what your life purpose is. Basically, you're starting to question things, and uh, perhaps you were uh, getting on the wrong path in your life, and uh, this person is uh, being sent to you to make sure that you get the course correction, so to speak. This person is going to nurture you out of uh, whatever the state of mind you're in, uh, this Queen of Pentacles right there. And, um, yeah, they will put you on the right course. You could be ending up with this person because I see a lot of love here as well. But I think the main purpose of this person is to help you out of this uh, limbo state. Perhaps you feel like uh, there is, uh, you'll never fall in love with anybody again. Perhaps you feel like, you know, what's the point of all of it? I think you're like standing on the brink of something negative with the tail ones on the bottom of the deck and this person shows up in your life and uh, they will help you out, they will nurture you out of it. So the tail of cups, the first card on the left, this is a card of a soulmate the connection, this is a card of um, Whenever I see the Two of Cups, it's all about love and uh, when two people are on the same page and the feelings are mutual. So this person is going to play a very important role in your life either way, right? Um, then we have the Devil. So the Devil is what I was referring to where you are just, you know, not sure what to do next. You don't know. You're a little bit confused with the High Priestess and the Two of Wands. But then we have uh, the Six of Swords and the Three of Pentacles, so the Six of Swords, this is a card of a rough patch being over. Um, this is a card of moving out of choppy waters towards calmer waters, and I think that's exactly what this person is going to do to you. They will help you move on, they'll help you move out of that limbo. Right, and you're moving towards the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles is something grounded, something you can um, find a purpose in because it's all about building something from the ground up and all of it is because of this person, this Queen of Pentacles. Like I said, male or female absolutely doesn't matter. Okay, um, and yeah, this could be your soulmate. It could, you could be uh, together with this person uh, love-wise because this is a love relationship, but like I said, this person is more than just a uh, love connection. This is somebody who is here to help you out. Leo, if you'd like to see the extended for this new love spread, the link is in the description below. In the extended, I'll do two or three more spreads, depending on how the situation unfolds. We'll take a look at what to expect between you and this person going forward, and we'll get you an advice. I do extensions for new love only, because that's what people are interested in the most. Leo, if you are already married or if you are in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the Sun, we have Strength, and we have the Ten of Cups. You could be dealing with another Leo. <laughs> so strength is your personal card, Leo. Um, it's always a good sign to have your own card in a small spread like this. And uh, by the way, three cards was all I needed to see here. In a nutshell, everything is awesome this week for you and your relationship or your marriage here, right? <laughs> um, but... Just to take a closer look, so strength is you, Leo. So you're in charge, you're the one um, calling the shots, 
you're happy with your relationship with your significant other. Speaking of happiness, the sun, the first card on the left, is the happiest card in the deck. So I wasn't just saying that, that everything is awesome, right? We also have the Ten of Cups on the right. This is a card of a very happy and emotionally fulfilling relationship or even marriage. So I didn't need to pull any additional cards. I didn't want to jinx it for you. Um, yeah, but everything is fine. Everything is awesome. You are happy. Everybody in your family are happy as well, together with you. And um, you could be um, taking your relationship to the next level, whatever that level is for you. Because the Ten of Cups with the Sun, you know, this is all. The Ten of Cups is often called a happiness after hardship card. So perhaps this week uh, you will be getting out of something. Um, unstable or something negative and uh, yeah you'll be happy with your significant other uh, this is one of the best spreads so far okay we've got the happiest card in the deck we've got the happy family and we've got you so <laughs> there you go or right, I'm happy for you Leo let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you Leo this week we've got the seven of Pentacles clarified by the Queen of Cups then we have the two of Cups in the world and we also have the page of cups clarified by strength you could be dealing with a water sign cancer scorpio or pisces or you could be dealing with another leo so it's one of those spreads where it could go vice versa it could be you wanting to uh, get back together with somebody with an ex or it could be the other way around it could be somebody reaching out to you but uh, the good news is that the outcome is still going to be the same uh, it looks like this spread is all about reconciliation um, so the Seven of Pentacles right there, clarified by the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is either a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. Or you can be embracing the energy of the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is somebody who is very emotional, very loving, often wears their heart on their sleeve. So it could be you, right? And the Seven of Pentacles is a card of waiting. Uh, so perhaps you've been waiting, or you kind of knew that this person will be back eventually right and uh, here they come uh, let's jump to the right real quick so we have the page of cups clarified by strength the page of cups is an apology it could be a bouquet of flowers it could be a gift it could be um, messages going back and forth between you and this person they're basically telling you that they still love you they want to get back together with you um, they realize that you're the one for them you know the usual <laughs> <laughs> and it's clarified by strength. Strength is uh, you, Leo. This is your personal card. So it could be you sending all those messages and uh, flowers and all that, right? Or it could be addressed to you. So take it as resonates. And uh, like I said, this spread is all about uh, getting back together because we have the Two of Cups right there in the middle. Two of Cups um, is soulmate love, unconditional love. Whenever I see the Two of Cups, to me, it's all about when two people are on the same page and the feelings are mutual. So, yeah, you can deny it all you want if you are denying it, but you are still in love with this person. And so are they. Because, like I said, the feelings are mutual. <laughs> and uh, then we have the world card. The world is, um, in this case, I think the world is all about um, an end of uh, one chapter of your life and a new beginning with this X right there. The, the world to me personally is the happy end card. So a negative chapter of your life could be coming to an end and a happy chapter of your life together with this person is starting for you. So yeah, like I said, this is a reconciliation spread. It doesn't really matter who reaches out to whom. As long as uh, the two of you are getting back on track and uh, hopefully you can stay for together forever and ever. <laughs> Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Leo, this week. We have the Knight of Pentacles, we have the Page of Swords, we have Strength. We also have the Eight of Cups, clarified by the King of Wands. And we have the Ten of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Or you could be dealing with a Fire sign, Aries, and other Leos, or Sagittarius. So the Knight of Pentacles, the first card on the left, this is an offer. It could be a new job offer, or a new business adventure offer, or a new investment opportunity offer. And uh, the Knight of Pentacles is a very serious and a very stable night. It's the slowest night in the whole deck. That means that somebody thought this offer through, 
or this is like I said a very serious and very grounded offer that's a lot of money coming towards you if you're currently employed this is this new job will be paying way more than your current job the page of source this is communication this is them um, sending you a very straightforward and direct message that we want you and here's uh, how much money you're going to be making and by the way here's also um, a bonus check just for signing up you know something along those lines and strength right there this is you Leo again so you coming you keep coming out of you your card keeps coming out in almost every reading so this is a good sign you're in charge this week Leo and um, I got a little bit confused with the ten of swords on the bottom of the deck the ten of swords is all about an ending right so then I asked what the outcome is going to be and uh, the eight of cups clarified by the king of wands came out so king of wands in the spread is you Leo male or female absolutely doesn't matter and the eight of cups is you walking away but you're not walking away from this offer you're walking away from what you currently have if you're currently uh, employed you could be putting in your two-week notice if you have um, business partners then you could be leaving one or some of them behind so you could uh, you know get this show on the road with this new business partner so that's why we have the ten of swords on the bottom of the deck you're ending your existing job or your existing business adventure with your current business partner but this is going to be a good change like I said, the Knight of Pentacles is a big chunk of change coming your way. So um, think about it, and uh, if you do decide to walk away, which you probably will, then uh, I think this is going to be um, a good positive change for you. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen, Leo, this week. We have the Three of Wands, we have the Knight of Swords clarified by the Three of Pentacles, we have the Three of Cups, and uh, we also have the Ace of Swords clarified by the Emperor and uh, the Ace of Wands. You could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or you could be dealing with an Aries. So we got three threes on the table. This is a big red flag for a third party situation. It could be a third party situation, right? Because we've got the Knight of Swords right there. So somebody's going to rush into your life and uh, make you an offer. An offer that you'll be, that'll be really hard for you to resist because um, we've got the Ace of Swords with the Emperor and the Ace of Wands as the outcome, right? Two Aces. This person will make you such a big offer, they will promise you everything, and um, you could take it, right? The Emperor could be an Aries you're dealing with, or somebody will just take control of the situation, and uh, they will sort of blind you with all these uh, promises and everything they will be showing and telling you about this new beginning so it could be a third party situation and uh, you could go for it if it's not a third party situation it could be about a new job because um, in the uh, work business and finances spread I did for you a few minutes ago we did see an, an offer coming your way and uh, you would have to leave something behind in order to start that new job or a new business adventure right so it could be that or it could be completely something different so whatever it is what you're not expecting is somebody is going to come forward really quickly and uh, they will make you an offer that you it will be really hard for you to resist okay so it'll be up to you what you want to do here but everything everything I see on the table suggests that you're gonna take it you're gonna go for it alright Leo so that's what I got for you hopefully um, it resonates and uh, other than that, have a great week. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.